We're going by air today. Yo, Montserrat, we just touched down in the airport. Big boss. Birthday, man. Yeah, man. It's fast. Fast. Nice to meet you, bless bro. Bless bless last night, you know, guys. Let me just give you a quick breakdown of how the truck is laid out and how they do their thing over here in Montserrat. The culture is different, the racing vibe is different because right now they have to improvise with what they have but they've been racing here for years. <laughs> Johnny too bad. I'm here to big up Pussman, Sanchez, Bassidy. Big up all the bad man in out of Jamaica. You see it? Skunk lifestyle. Skunkers, one gone. Trust me, a lot has been happening as you can see the background is a little bit different today. Literally, I was at home about a couple of weeks ago. Cody from Antigua Streets reached out to me and saying, yo, Montserrat wants the skunk lifestyle feature along with Antigua Streets vibes. I'm actually in Antigua now. I didn't do an intro from Jamaica. I decided to do it when I was in Antigua. Trust me, this is a vibe. I'll be visiting Montserrat for the first time. I'm gonna tell them I'm excited. It's one place with an active volcano. Easy me, I wanna see that. They have a pretty crazy racing scene over there for such a small population. And listen, they don't actually race on a straight, they actually race around a corner. So that's what's gonna make it a little bit different today. Just wanna try the culture, just wanna try the food, wanna see the experience. I have Cody here with me right now. I'm gonna just make him big enough to start out the vlog and. Doggy dog! What's going on now? <laughs> yeah, but you don't know. Like you say, reach out to you. You don't know our chemistry perfect. The vibe's crazy anywhere we're at. We noticed that in Antigua and so that's why you're here again and again and we're going to take that exact same combination to Montserrat. Look out, you know, big shout out to everybody in Montserrat, the entire association, the entire drag racing scene. Look forward to a lot of things and of course, you know, you like to try your food and do your vlogs and real time reviews and I'm kind of happy that you're going to get that experience. Your first time in Montserrat and trust me, I know from experience, past experience, they have a crazy surprise and treat for you in store trust me for a small island like Montserrat you normally hear about all the big countries and sometimes it's more the active smaller countries but Montserrat race scene is actually a really crazy race scene Mad. big up to John Osborne my first trip to Montserrat was John Osborne came over there to check out his DC5 and you know give some tough talk because you know yeah. Antigua me different all the way through Antigua streets right through Mad. and the boss said look Send for my DC5 and let me back up then chat. I'm gonna tell yeah. you the boss. Power to Antigua and the boss. Get on bad. One yeah. of the fastest DC5 the Caribbean ever see. Mad. All motor. And trust me, we, today is John Osborne's birthday. I know it won't release at the same time, but trust me. Big big shout out. When you see it, big big yeah. shout out to you on your birthday. We are forward in your place and your birthday say so done now. Come on now. Bring the vibes as usual. So big shout out, Fabulous the entire squad. Fabulous. You don't know. Big up yourself and trust me, bring out the machine and them. I'm not for sure the machine and them out, but bring them out because you know, skunk lifestyle in the place, Antigua Streets in the place, Niklu, Cody Thomas. Boom! Yo, like a candle. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. We're going to make this public. <laughs> if you want us to visit your Caribbean country, the duo there, the duo, Antigua Street Ultimate. Skunk Lifestyle. So reach out to any one of us through DM, Instagram, through Don't YouTube. Know. You're ready for come feature that Caribbean from our vibes. Cause yo, you see when we had the boss link up? <laughs> a murder. <laughs> so peeps, you don't know, we're heading to Montserrat today. I just want to big up my sponsors as always. Big up to Automotive Art. I've recently became their brand ambassador. So you know, highest quality paints. Big up to Motor Lubes, Amzile team. Straight, if you ain't using Amzile, you're using what? What sugar bar say? You don't know. Big up to Monster Energy for always energizing us. You see me? Trust me, love Monster Energy. Big up to Grab and Go for always fueling us. And big up to Hip Ship. You don't know the vibes. We're getting into the vlog right now. Monster at here we come. Yo, Skunkers. So, yesterday we were supposed to actually take the ferry. 
but something came up and we didn't get to make it so right now it's like what like 5 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna be leaving out now heading to Montserrat on the plane so I'll show you this journey and then I'll show you what it's like when we get there big up we're going by air today first time going in one of these so <laughs> Pray for me, people. Pray for me. Alrighty, guys. A pleasant, uh, good uh, morning. My morning. name is Charles Edwards. Just a quick briefing before we leave. Uh, the emergency exits are the doors you entered to operate the emergency exit. There's a red handle. It's located at the top of the window. To operate the handle, you pull the lever inwards. The glass comes in. Twist the glass and push the glass outside. There's a safety card that's in your seat pocket in front of you. Life jackets are on the seats. Ensure you're all buckled up for the flight. It's a no smoking flight, and our flying time approximately 17 minutes to Montreal. Is there any questions before we go? Good to go, man. Right, send guys, it, send it. Smooth landing, smooth landing. Respect, bro. Yeah, my respect. Yeah. No long time. Big boss. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, man. Thanks. Respect. Yeah, yeah, you good? Yeah, man. How is it? Yeah. Welcome to Montreal. Yeah, 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 man. Big yeah. up. This is John Aguart. Nice to bless meet him, you, bless bro. Respect. Yeah, man. Respect. Welcome to Montreal, Regent. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, we wish you were here last night. Trust me. Trust me. I know. Trust me. Cody. We'll be Cody for the weekend. You know the party good if them are till in the party clothes and not sleep. So yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no but that's not used to me and you right now. <laughs> <laughs> not true. That's not used to me right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah man. Yeah. See the Macan, yeah, man. I'm going to roll out right now. Yeah. Yeah. Big bad force. Yes. What you say? What you say about the party? You want no one? The party. Yo, watch out. The party. Shut! <laughs> Actually, I rode with the man who owned the airport. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you see me? So, yo, Skunkaz, trust me, it's a vibe. So happy to be here. You know, we were supposed to be here from yesterday. I'm not going to stop seeing for that much. You know the vibe. So, I'm going to make best I can. Yes, you're rubbed. You're rubbed some salt in the sun. Yeah, man. My boy, Cody, the man. Rock party. Shut last night, man. So, this year, remind me of St. Tilly's bed in Jamaica. Right. So you know, you know, Arrow feeling hot, hot, hot. No. So that's his building. Arrow. Oh, okay. you, know, you know the song, man. Yeah, yeah. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, feeling hot, hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn national hero, man. Man. Yeah, right, right now, the experience of these kind of Are you that? You're landing. You're coming for me, man. Oh, it's beautiful. It's an old crime scene. Past nine. Half past nine, and and dance still a gone. I'm so I'm good to work. Yeah, straight to work. Yeah, straight to work. Yeah, just roll up to get some breakfast. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you know, you know, I know touch up to get some food. So actually, at yeah, Grand you Phoenix. Know you love your food. And yeah, you know that. Your food, uh, yeah, yeah. So we're at too. Grand Phoenix right now. They have breakfast and stuff. Like that. Let's see what's on the girl. You. What's the, what's the murder rate like? <laughs> it's basically not existing. <laughs> really? Yeah. The last one we had was probably about 15 years ago. Oh, you said to me. More than 15. More than 15. More than 15. More than 15. More than 15 years ago. At least, when both. It's been, it's been a while, yeah. yeah, yeah it's been a while. 20, almost 20 years. Almost 20 years, real the last murder. Real time, real time. Damn. Yeah. Like, I wish, I wish we could take a page out there, but trust me. <laughs> I mean, I know the population is a little bit smaller, but the culture and the lifestyle is different. Yeah. Definitely different. Well, really. everybody here knows each other, too. Yeah. So. So you know you have a really aggravate somebody for somebody more yeah. you. Yeah. We ride, we ride, talk, talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for sure. The so most influential again. nation in the Caribbean. Where is that? Music, racing, the language, the food, the culture, the reggae, everything. Which country? Yeah. Jamaica. Man. Uh, <laughs> Big up nah, man, you know, it's a vibe, time, you know, it's a, it's a vibe being here, you know, I had to be here. It's crazy because another thing to 
Cody in Antigua yesterday. Ah, the key. I said, Cody, Left why are you keying on the car? Left the vehicle running. I was asking these guys here, you know, if you guys, you know, sleep with the doors open. Yeah. You leave with the, you, you, you sleep with the doors open and leave the keys. Oh, my house open right now. <laughs> key go wide open. Jeez. Well, I, I, as, as we just tell you, the, the keys to the portion of the car. Yeah, they're right, they're right. I wish for this living. Trust me, in Jamaica. I don't know if we're going to ever get it for now, but trust me. Yeah. So, literally just got the sure. food now. You know the vibe. Got a little liver, like a salt, sea provision, boiled egg, sea provision, baked beans, <laughs> well, baked beans, and this is basically like dumpling but bake. That's what That's they call a sea it. Sea provision. Yeah, man, sea provision. That is it. <laughs> yeah, skunker. So we staying right here, tropical mansion. That is it. Where is it? Tropical mansion. What do you know? Up top. Up top. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So down there is where you came this morning. Yeah. Down there is the party that you just came from. Over there is Braids, which is our new town. Right. The island straight ahead, that's Redonda. Behind that, that's Nevis. Right. And I'm Merle. <laughs> so nice. we install the heating. So yeah. let it run for half a minute. It'll get nice and hot. Okay. Fridge, microwave. Wow, a nice size bed though. AC, remote is in here, TV stuff are here. Yeah. Your key is here. These are the passwords for the Wi Fi. Thank you. You're in level two, that will be the strongest, but level one and north comes in just as strong. If any questions, you let me know. Doggy dog! Doggy dog! <laughs> yeah, so you know my thing, and not only about cars, we deal with the lifestyle, we deal with the food, so we stop to get goat water right now. So let's see what this is about. I'm just taking the view over here, so walk on. Kitty cat. Mad. Beautiful. Meet me, Nick Lou. Lou. Man, respect. You know something? Let's see. 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 Let's you want the sample of your famous go on? Yeah. That's right, I got it. Can I see it? Yep. Sure. You want to fact check it? Yeah. OMG! <laughs> OMG! So it comes with a piece of bread. Well, it comes with bread. And this is the goat water right now, which is like a form of, you know, gallish water in Jamaica. And have a nice flavor to it. I'm not too sure of the seasons that are using it. Spicy. I got my mohawk. Watch out. St. Patrick's. This is my mohawk. OMG. We got it. We got it. Let's set love. Love it today. Let's set love. Let's set yeah, love. Let's set How love. long you say you've been doing it now? 25, 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It really tastes good. It have a nice, creamy, consistent taste of the, the goat water. The mud. The original. Yo, we get for spice twice. I'm going to compete again. Yeah. We tell you, anybody want to do do it, yeah. bring it on. Nice. Anybody want competition, bring, bring it on. on. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. We don't know. So we're just pulling up to John Inns now. See me? Ah, so sick. What's that? Bad craft. Bad craft, them saying. No. But, the but that's my brother. But that's the S2K. Yeah. So that's the bad S2K over yeah. there. Uh, Mad. Finally get to see the S2K now. Yeah, yeah. So this is John's S2K right here. His brother's car. What you have done to this car, John? Um, it's turbo charge. Stop motor turbo. Sweet. It's an AP1, right? Well, AP2. AP2. Um, 2017. Okay. Check the license plate, boy. JP1. JP1. Yeah. Woo. Nice. Turbo charge. And I don't want to ask, you do all the tuning and everything. Right. right. Yeah. What's the fastest time? Um, I haven't run it on a time track yet. Okay. So, but um, this car, I just do it as my weekend car. So, question, this is the car you're going to carry with the Antigua? Um, no. Oh, okay. I'm going to carry my DC5 over the Antigua. Okay. So. Beat and teach. 
time. Last time, yes, but not this time. So, this is John's S2000 right now. Trust me, we're looking forward to seeing this on the truck. And yo, John, I want you to give me a little bit of history. I mean, you've been racing over here since you're basically a youth, right? Yeah, before you had a driver's license. The truck, I realized that you guys actually go around that bend. Yeah, slight bend, yeah. Yeah, it, it, that's a part of the culture, though. Um, well, that road has some history to it. Yeah. So, um, from as far back as I know, they've been racing on that road for a very long time. Yeah. So, my, my older brother, which is, he's actually significantly older than I am, so he would have been racing back when he was young yeah. and, and like even before him i think even my dad would have been racing back then on that same road too so it has a bit of history it was uh, a, it was a lot longer back then though yeah so because um part of it at the end of it you start to get into the exclusion zone from the volcano yeah right so it used to be a much longer road that they used to race on and you said to me that you find when you're if you you run a time on that truck and then you oh you go a lot you go a lot quicker yeah so this car on street tires because I'm, I'm just regular street tires yeah oh they are if i went all out i'd probably make like a low 11 second pass yeah so if i put it on slicks went to antigua i'm almost sure that i could run a low 10 maybe even a high nine second Man. pass on it so so yeah i'm looking forward to that i'm looking mm. forward to seeing the truck you get me um big up to antigua street tires in the building you know how we go so i heard i heard this is your second home here Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. John, John made no, that this, possible. This, this is my brother. Yeah, they were like, you know, he, he was like, yo, Cody, which room you want? Take any room you want. You ever said, take my whole room? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, big up, big up, big up. Loving it, loving the property, loving the place so far. Yeah. Isn't me, man? All right, so take a little tour of the property. So I like to play on the the tiles in oh, the pool, yeah, yeah. the Osborne. <laughs> but we have a photograph yeah. of the pool and the camera. So. And the view, the view is beautiful right now, trust me. Nice thing view. And I figure, this is the seaside right over there, you're hearing the, the winds and the water gushing across the hillside and stuff. Man. So, you say we're pulling up to the diner now? Yeah, we're going up to the diner. So, this is the only diner in Montserrat. And Glenn was telling me that basically, is where everybody comes to tune. I hear pretty much the most of the tune in here too. Yeah, yeah, I do well, 99% of the Nice. This is John's Dino right here. And leading up to the event tomorrow, there will be a lot of um, cars passing through to get their stuff done. So let's take a look at the bad DC5 now, what do you say? Fastest. Give me a history on the DC5 before you show um, me. Well, it was once the fastest all motor DC5 in the world. Okay. Th thanks to this guy behind you. <laughs> <laughs> and to the streets. <laughs> so, and, um, it, it had Antigua's all motor record. Might still have Antigua's all motor record. Might. Might. It actually, it actually, we were just um, checking a time slip. Yeah. We just need the, the central from Puerto Rico just to verify what that ran when it came. Right. But all three cars went 10 8, but you had the fastest 10 8. So right. we, you just need to make sure. Man. Yeah. So this is John's well, car. This is an shell at the moment. Yeah. Okay, um, what's, what, what made this car so special? In terms of what was the build? Um, at first, when I went to Antigua first, it was a street K24 that I had in. Yeah. Made about 315 horsepower. Nice. And then um, after Antigua issued the second challenge, I built a K27 with ITDs, that kind of stuff it made. K27? Right, so it made 416 Man. Um, on M5 back then. And um, now we, we, we're trying to figure out, well, there's another K27 build, a nitromethane engine that I have for it. Yeah. And a second engine that I'm working on that I can't really release. No, yet, we're not so, talking about that. So we're not, we're not going to give the details yet. Yeah. So um, depending on, on, on how um, quick the competition gets in Antigua, then I'll decide which build will go there. Nice. So, <laughs> man, so, see you too. Um, John also sells fuel and stuff over here. Big up to VP, one of my sponsors for the vlogs. You know the vibe, good racing fuels, to me. Right. Yeah, John, okay. loving the shop. I just have it in storage for now, so about sometime in the summer. Till you're ready for a kill I'll start working yeah. on it. Well, um, we, we're planning to go over, as Cody said, by September. Yeah. So I'll try and get ready by September. Um, it look a little bit different. Actually, some people would notice that it's a little bit different already. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's carbon, doors. carbon doors and yeah. stuff that um, there's a um, full roll cage and stuff in it now. That's nice. Right. Well, um, yeah, you have to put the roll cage in. When you ask about Javi, when we ask about Javi, yeah. so Javi got me this hood. 
Oh. So there's, there's only two of these hoods made. Nice. They're the lightest um, DC5 hoods in the world. They weigh six pounds each. So man. The, the Kephonix card I have used the tune had the other one. Okay, man. Yeah. So they bought literally I could pick this hood up with just two fingers. Yeah. Because it's that light. Yeah. So, right. Now it's a full cage with foot in it now. Man, you have to get this for Antigua anyway. Right. So, well, he had, a, he had a six point in it before. Okay. Now, um, the guys are prior to racing. Yeah. The, Full cage for me. So this car was actually in the US for a little while. Okay. So I sent it up, they did all the safety oh, stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, Norris, nice. Right. So Norris did all the safety stuff for me on it. Yeah. And um, as I said, Norris builds my engines too. And then you tune them. Right. Yeah. No. But, well, Norris tuned them before because the last time I ran this car was 2015. 2015. Right. Okay. So usually when he sent me motors, he wanted to see how they did. Yeah. So although I would start them and, t and start to tune them here, he would come and then make whatever adjustments he felt necessary when we got to Antigua. Nice. In other words, when it's Monster at Invasion, that means Norris will be somewhere around. At right. The same he'll be time. He'll be <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. So some people have a problem with that, but I mean, you have guys who are like world class guys trying to help you. Like I would turn on that kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Definitely. Yeah. But no, I do, I do 100% of my tuning now, and I, and I think he's comfortable with me doing that now too. Yeah, so. he believe in it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it actually has on a common from a trunk as well. He's trying to get down the weight as much as possible, so. Yep. No, it's pretty, it's pretty light now. Um, it's pretty light right now. Yeah. It's pretty light right now. No, there's an uh, extended trailing arms on oh, the rear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the, those, are, those are custom from Norris as well. <laughs> okay, so it, it, it cares about the wheel. Yeah. Right. Okay. So those are custom. So she's actually yeah. pretty light indeed. Yeah. 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 yeah, if you really take a good look at it. Right. To watch what's different and what's changed. Yeah. Right. So, K series EP3 that this turbo and the last time. So I see some cars around this, this, this side now. Okay, so this is Redance, yeah. a very popular car over here and in Antigua too, right? Yeah, right. A lot of people know this EP3. So I, I just retuned it um, two days ago. Yeah. So I think when we're in Antigua, it made like four or something. So it's now a 700 horsepower um, EP. What? Yeah. Mad, all I need for doffing it, uh, all you uh, all you drive it. Well, bro. I think that's the future plan for it. Yeah. So, are there any EP3s all wheel drive it? No. Um, we have one all wheel drive Honda that's not up and running at the moment. Over here. Yeah. Okay. So nice. This EP3 look nice too. You get me? It's my, my, my style. My old style that Cody killing me to get back up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Cody's killing me to get this car back up. Um, yeah, you I'm should. I'm trying to encourage I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna do send it to Antigua. Yeah. To it was restore running, it. It was yeah. running really good here in Montserrat. Yeah. But there was never a timing system, so we never knew what, what time it was running. And we want to know, you know, because yeah. it, it made good power. We yeah. want to know what it made for power um, right. on the track. Yeah. So the best way to do it is bring it over so we could time it. Mad. Peter. Blanza, you know? Yo, if Mad you see this thing. car when this car went together, right? No, man, I can't see it. The, am I you see the, you see the, the body of it straight? Alright, body of it straight and everything like that. Yeah, you should. You should, no, you should. Actually look I think like sometimes you know you just have too many cars sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And I you just lose track of them. Yeah, so definitely. what I promised myself is I'm gonna fix each one one by one. You should. So you lose you track should. of the right I'm one. I'm gonna finish DC5. But you lose track of 400 plus horse for a glanza. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, him have, you know you know him have things working on. Right. So sure. I, I promise Cody I'm gonna get it um, back up and running. Yeah. Lifestyle. Pick up yourself. So yo, we're on our way heading to the track now in Cork. Hill. I'm not, I'm not to take my time to say that. <laughs> Cork Hill. Is it me? So we're heading to Cork Hill right now. Is it me? To some testing. One and two little uh, one and two cars gonna be up there testing and stuff. John is here rolling up right now. So show you guys a quick view of the you know the journey and thing there. So this is this is a natural spring that's actually coming out. Nice. Natural spring, you know? It'll probably come out. So fun fact, some history right here. Right. You are saying with the springs over here, maybe about 80% um, of them not being used? No, we don't use about eight. We don't use about 20% of the water that we have available. Jeez. So about 80% goes runs after the ocean. And so, you guys have a lot of these. Right. So this is one of the natural springs that's coming down here. So it, it's one of the resources that we have in abundance yeah. that we don't use is water for sure. <laughs> and you could actually drink this, you know, this is this is like clean water, like you yeah. literally drink that water. So like they have it, you see they have it piped here? Yeah. So people actually come here and actually drink it. Alright. I'm gonna get some now. Yeah. Oh man, drink from the blast to burn my way do. <laughs> eh? What do you feel like? Drink the water boy. <laughs> Cody! Eh? 
Tell them about mad man, liquid gold. No, it's oh, real spring water. Yeah. Real, spring, real natural spring water. Filtered spring water. Well, filtered yeah. By the way, let me explain something here. It's a natural spring water from the soil. Yeah. It's flowing in a surface water. It's flowing through the soil, so it's getting filtered through the soil. All right. Yeah? I joke it, man. It tastes good. Look at this. It's not a joke thing. Look at this. We promote this. It's a safe water. Yeah. All right. So if you test the pH water, then they take the pH level in this water here. Proper. Compared to any bottle of water that you have. Anyone. It is it's good. in the shop. This yeah. is better. Yeah, man. Yeah? For sure. As a matter of fact, yeah? Months that yield 186 million gallons of spring water. That's what John was telling See, me. Well, I don't know. I use more side. Yeah, yeah. I right. think you said you only use 20%. You only use 99,000 out of the 186 million. This is good. Nice up, drink. <laughs> Cody, all right? Yeah, boy. You want to uh, come on, sir? Please, So, this is runaway gut that we're at now. Alright, so purple. first I'm going to see a popo from over here. You don't know. Alright, popo that. So, Fabulous, so give us just a little tour. Because um, indeed, indeed. you're pretty much familiar with this type of stuff because this is what your company does as well. That's right, right that's right. So, you host people from all over the world, correct? All over the world, man. Fabulous Enterprises, Fabulous Tours. Yeah. Got six signature tours. You know, so anybody come and want any customized tours, you can do customized tours as well. Yeah. But we also offer yachting agency, shipping agents in general for passengers. Um, we do destination management in general. Right? Nice. Yeah. So yeah, it's a holistic, it's like a one-stop shop. Yep. Uh, at yeah. one point during the height of the volcano, everything from this cut going south was evacuated. Nobody could live beyond this point okay. going south. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that was in the height of the volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, you know, we reopen. Right. And we got um, basically free access up to a lot of areas, but some of the areas, although you have the access, they're not habitable. Yeah. Because then you know have the amenities in terms of water, light, um, certain security protocols and so forth. Yeah. Are really in place as would be on this side. I get you. Yeah. So this is Salem. So we're rolling through Salem now. Right. And Salem is where the activities for St. Patrick's normally happen. Okay. So every 17th of March, this road. The street here, we have a th thousands of people converging All right. on the street. Let me not cut you. So, tell me why is it so important that you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Well, St. Patrick's Day is uh, the celebration of an ima of a attempted um, emancipation okay. of from of our of our forefathers from slavery. Yeah. So it's basically a failed revolution in a sense. Okay. But the attempts to emancipate our people. Okay. Right. Is what we celebrate. And one thing I will tell you is Salem as well. Salem got the most churches in proximity. Yeah. But equivalent amount of bars. Okay. And by bars I mean rum shops. Yeah. So like a little Jamaica. <laughs> so when the pastor preached to one congregation. Yeah. Yeah. The bar in the outside to serve another congregation. So we're in Salem now. We're in Salem. Yo, I was really looking forward to seeing this. And up there is actually an active volcano. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use my phone and zoom up there right now. So the volcano is very clear from here, right? So we'll zoom up, show you guys what's happening. See in the middle right there with the gravy? At the furthest point, not in the paracross of films actually come in the, the valley there. Eh? Yeah. Machine is rolling up to, to the truck right now. So we're heading to Cork Hill right now. I'm getting some, some historic facts from Fabulous, because you don't know. From this point going south? Yeah. Nothing, oh, nobody lives over here. It's so mostly, nobody lives over this Nobody side. lives beyond this point. Okay, it's just a matter of uh, sand mining industry, yeah. tourism. Yeah, yeah, because the sand mining there. is one of your natural resources, correct? Right, so the sand mining comes actually from the volcanic material. So okay. what will happen is that we extract the volcanic material from the riverbeds. Yeah. And then we chuck them into a central point in the Corkill area where we're heading now, which is where the racetrack is. Yeah. And then we got a sifting mechanism where we separate um, the goods on the bads basically. Yeah. Aggregate go one way, the sand go one way, yeah. the boulders go another way and then we export that. Nice. Mostly for construction purposes. So after speaking with Fabulous and getting an understanding of you know how the volcano pretty much damaged this whole area that we're in. As you can see basically all of these houses in this area are abandoned from after the volcano eruption. And we're talking about over 20 odd years. So these are all wasted structures right now trust me but then the beauty about this trip and tour is we're gonna head down to the track which is down that side let me zoom on it and show you you get me um this is the infamous straight in our 
right? But the Carkill Road now, the Carkill Highway, which leads to the, the Berry City capital. Right. It's the longest stretch of road that we have. It's not straight as you can see. So this is the this is the truck now that, was, that we're driving on. Yeah. Right, in a straight. And they got a few ah, curves and a few humps. So this is like the real what as as 45 would say the wild wild west are racing. Yeah. And this is the real McCoy man. It's a real way called real racing. For drive when you're there, see so. there, see there. So we reach cocky racing you know, see peeps. There. You get me? Tomorrow a lot of people be out and about here tomorrow. I mean I'm sure a crowd always over yeah, them man, here. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, 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 um. Nick, 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 Nick. Big up, man. Bless up, man. Bless up. Bless VP up. number two. Welcome Vice to President Monshot. number two. Welcome yeah, to Monshot. You know what I mean? Hardest yeah, working man in this association. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Respect, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Bless up. Bless yeah, up. Yeah, man. Bless I appreciate up. it. Yeah. So, you know, they are the car kill track right now. This is it. That's the infamous corner the up there. Run. So, I don't know. Red Ants is out. Take a look. Run around a bend here in a dog. Wild, 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 west. west. See there. Ah, Bad thing tomorrow, man. Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow. I'll oh, check be like a movie, bread. You, you know, me listen to me. If I want some now, nah, half of give respect to. Yeah. Them I can drive. What oh, you mean? Okay. Bro, what <laughs> the hell? Like Trust man. me. So, we actually just got to the track, like I said, and the starting line is here, as you can see. I'm going to flip the camera, so I'll give you a zoom of up there. Let me show you what's going on. Yeah, so now, so this is the guy, right, that has the fastest all motor all in motor. the UK. In the UK. Tish, big up yourself, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Man. Yo, I was saying that earlier that, yo, I lift my hats off too. I read you something, man. Someone said we get rude. Yeah, this is straight passion. A circuit. Yeah. It's never a drag. Hill and gully. It's a circuit. Hill and gully. Hill and gully. But we have the best of it. I do. We have the best of it. Of course. And the event going to be epic tomorrow. Because that's passion, you know. Epic tomorrow. Passion. Special. Come, we go to go back. We go to go back. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Big up yourself, come on. Come on, man. You know, we're here from all the way from the Bronx. Come represent, you know, we heard you Yo, coming in. No, you style, you style. You know, you're fresh, 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 fresh. That is it, that is it. <laughs> Alright, so where where we're entering now? So we're entering into the old capital. Okay, so this is Bird the old city. capital now. This is the yeah. buried city. And this area called Zone V, exclusion zone. You so can't just enter without. You can't just enter without authorization. Yeah, we come down this road right now. This is the road we want right now. Right, right? Yeah, yeah these are, I'm, I assume so, these are tour buses, right? tour buses coming out, yeah. Wow. Very historic house. Right, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this road would actually take us through, yeah. Which this would have been this road. Oh, so this road would take us through here right now. Mad. Yeah. It would take you to the hospital and the areas. Yeah. Back down to Jarred Street, that's so where they would get up. Real ghetto. Hey, that we're ready enough for me. Anyone, you know, see the man that document everything, I have everything. <laughs> so so all, that, this, all that we're driving on right now, this is all ashes that you're looking Everybody at. Go back up here. On the ground right now. All Amazing. ashes. Can't go. And what you say now? Spunkers, I'm gonna show you this area right here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually walk on this area right here now. So, that area that I just showed you a while ago is actually this right here that you're looking on. I mean, separate and apart from the racing, there's just so much history in Montserrat. And as you can see in the background right there, that's where the volcano is. So, trust me, there's a lot, there's a lot of history happening right now in this vlog. I mean, I hope you guys appreciate stuff like this. I mean, I do personally, you know, just to know where the culture is coming from with Monster. 
So we just reached to the MVO, the Mons the Montserrat Montserrat Volcano Observatory. So that's the volcano up there. Skunkers, so you know we just got some information and you know just a vibe of how the volcano actually buried the entire side that we just came from a while ago. So yo, we're just linking up with the Bandilera camp from what I'm seeing. I'll be here Toyota, you see me? So you know, so out here we just show the Montserrations them some love, you see me? Because we appreciate that they brought us here and I want to show you a little bit of their hidden gem. Charlie, well, go on. Yes, sir, Nick. Bless it. Yes, man. Welcome to the land. Tell me a little bit more about your crew now. Oh, Team Bandolero. Yeah. Um, the crew, we got Johnny, we got Sword, Yoyo, -Yo, Gold, Marsh. Toyota, as you know. That must be. Yes, straight. That must be. Two ZZ. Celica. Z-Boss, Z -Boss. Sanchez, yeah. check in. All Moto, check yeah. in. Check in. Check in. Check in. Yeah. Yeah. All Moto. Right. Um, so only, only thing running against all the Hondas. You're running it tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be there tomorrow. You so see you it. represent for the 2ZZ yes. and the Toyota? And the Toyota, straight. Man. Toyota it is. Yeah, straight. Yeah, man. So, Johnny, too bad. Yes, Johnny. Too bad. That's Big it. up, straight, man. You see me? That's DJ. DJ. Yeah, man. Courtney. Courtney. All right. Big up yourself. Up, up, up. DJ. I'm now, man. Now, man. Yeah, man. Respect our talent. 15 in DJ Yoyo. Mad. What's up? Yeah, man, good. Man, good. So, I realize that the item love Toyota, eh? Yeah, that machine. Man. Yeah, Vits them out and bad. It's a Johnny too bad machine over here, so you get me. Courtney on this, so it's a white body kit. Them do fun this bits over here, so and as you can see, they're up in Toyota Street. You know, I'm out here and I show no one going over in a monster at right now. I'm giving them and showing them some love because trust me, they've been showing me a lot of love and respect and support over here. You don't know, Ronix over here, so Vits up here, so. You see me? You know, so I now walk past the doctor though. I'm you know, making this skating, you see me? Charlie, so many Z no man. Let me show them. Sure, show sure, them sure. Let me it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, sir. Uh, Z. Have, have a look, have a look. You know, sir, Sanchez and um, Bassidi, they make me love Z, you know? Yes. You see me? Yeah. And then sure. I realize the Z, them get very popular over here now, too. And even in Antigua. You run good brand gas, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mad. So how much power are you building? Whoa! Last pull, yeah. we did 230 all motor. 230 all motor? Uh, yeah. And you yet to get a time motor, right? Yeah, yet to get time because we don't have a time in. All motor. Um, stock motor. Stock motor? Stock motor. Not, not built. Yeah. Only thing it has in is cams. You plan to do anything to it? Um, yeah. I want to change it. Intake manifold. Yeah. Aftermarket. Yeah. Aftermarket shot body. Yeah. And switch it to fuel tech. So you plan to take it to Antigua? Yes, in the near future. Yeah. See what time we could put them. Hey Charlie, me liberate the vibes, you know. Yes, I. Yeah, respect. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So two Z. Hey, what you have to say about this, Cody? No, I know you love two Z. Don't you know. tell you to do my heart. Now, yeah. So. This ain't bad, bad, bad Z. Bad craft, right? Bad craft. Trust Where's me. Where's the fabulous? Me a tired man. Same man. He might, he might out and about tomorrow. Yeah, man, yeah, man. He might represent. Team Bandolero is out and about tomorrow, is me? Just a whole of vibes, Charlie. Respecting us. Yes, man. You know, I had to pass through and show you the love, man. Is me? One love, one love, and respect. Yeah, man. Big up. So we're out here now, I'm under some testing, so I'm just gonna capture some footage of that. Supposed to see a pull in Mushigashi Civic as well. So yo, well, yo, I could see what I'm going. Mushigashi. Mushigashi, what I'm going on now? Yeah, I'm on. Ah, You wanna give me a quick run on the specs, <laughs> innit? Nah, 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 no, nah, no. Nah, no? Nah, no. You're ready, you're ready. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the panel. You don't want to pass it on the you know, yeah. so try to do a little fine tune, but you know, the real machine home. 
That's how we work to do it, you know? Come out tomorrow now? No, no, you yeah, can't come out tomorrow. It's far from coming out. Oh, so, so you're going to just run these two yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. I will try to make up some numbers so we can run these. The Subaru yeah. Yeah. and the Evo behind you, you know? Big up yourself, yeah, man. All the time, man. Respect, man. How the car felt to you? Fantabulous. <laughs> a fun what? Fantabulous. <laughs> I know you're racing Antigua. You race here. Yeah. Bro, what what, what the feeling like going round the bend? And when the power come out, we know most of the time when does the third tunnel vision. All I can tell you is a tunnel vision kind of vibes. Yeah. Hold on and hit gear. Hold on and hit gear. Hit gear. Yeah. Man, why we just see that a while ago yeah. and it? Yeah. Big up, done the bus. Yeah. This car will be one of the big contenders, right? Yeah. The actual the car that's supposed to challenge it. Yeah. Actually blow up on the dyno Thursday. Okay. And the man in the garage right now work on it. So the car to reach the dyno tonight. Nice. And also tomorrow we should have the competition. They got at least three cars which is a matchup with that one tomorrow. Okay, man. Yeah? So you say you have a race with an EG supposed to be supposed to be with an EK. Yeah. A big bad K24. Yeah. Yeah. Versus the big bad 2Z. Yeah, this is it. Shit. May I say you have a bad time to make any money? Yeah, man. Yeah. Cheers, no cheers, I am Aaron. It's a 3SI man run, 3SGTA, you yeah. know what I mean? It's a 3SGT4 me have. That's what it's cool that me have. Sun drive one every day. Yeah. And then me have one home with me, race, yeah. you know? How long you been working on cars now? Over... Over 30 years. Over 30 years? Yeah. Man, how you get there? Yeah, man, all the time, man. Yeah, man. Have him though. Yeah, 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 Tomorrow after this footage you see me at the truck and uh, see what it's all about.